Hey guys, it's Amir from MLS.com and I wanted to make a quick video, a uh, little vlog here discussing this bit of news about the Nostalrius team. Apparently, you know, this is a story we followed up quite a bit on the podcast, but I wanted to make my own thoughts real quick. Obviously, we'll discuss this in the podcast as well on Tuesday. But basically what happened was uh, the Nostalrius team met up with Blizzard and they came out and they said that it looks like Blizzard wants a legacy WoW server. However, they provided reasons why they couldn't make one. So I'm actually really disappointed by this news because it just really reeks of disingenuousness. Because if you read the reply over here, I mean, the Nostalgia people explain that in order to generate, for Blizzard to make a WoW server, they have it's not as simple as making a WoW.exe and server.exe files. The build process takes data, models, maps, etc. They're providing this, this reason why they can't do it. It says before relaunching Vanilla Realms, all the data has to be compiled together and to take a big development process and it's very difficult to do. They're basically just kind of writing this off as, as being very difficult to do and that's why they can't do it today. I mean, it just, if you look at this just quickly, it seems like it makes sense, but it just, it's so frustrating to read because it just seems so obviously not true. I mean, I'm not a developer, but I'm just speaking from almost common sense experience because I've seen this excuse being used in Ultima Online back ages ago where I created a thread on the most on Ultima Online's official forums, and I asked for a private, like a vanilla server almost from Ultima Online. This is years ago, and it was like a 200-page thread, and so many people wanted it. And then they closed the thread saying it's impossible because they lost all the files and it's too hard to remake today. And it's just frustrating because so many people have already played and experienced a private server on Nostilarius and other vanilla private servers. So if you look at all these private servers, a vanilla experience already exists, okay? Nobody's saying Nostilarius was a perfect vanilla experience. And nobody was saying the old school private ultimate servers were a perfect experience. But they recreated the vanilla experience pretty darn well. And to hear Blizzard saying they can't do it and it requires all this effort. And that they can do it but it'll just take a long time. It's just so frustrating because it just... It just comes off as they're they're waving it away. They're just they're not focused on it. Like I'd be I'd be happier with Blizzard if they just said no, we don't want to do it, okay? Because that's honest at least. For them to say that it just it's such an arduous process, it's gonna take a long time. It just it frustrates me. Because if a bunch of volunteers could do this on an emulator server, some of the best and brightest engineer game developers and engineers in the world, they work at Blizzard, okay? This is a company that hires the top students. I mean, they're they're the most one of the most well-renowned game developers in the world, and these guys are making probably over 100k a year. These smart engineers, they understand programming, they understand coding. If they're saying if they can't do it, but a bunch of volunteers using simple hack together private emulator servers can do it, it's so obvious that they don't want to do it. And listen, they're not lying because they are specifically saying like what's preventing them. They're saying that they didn't save all the exact files and they would have to recreate it to create a perfect experience. Yeah, they're right. If they want to recreate a perfect vanilla experience, it might take a long time. But to create, nobody cares about that. To recreate a functional vanilla experience, functional is the key word, and it, won't, it, won't, it might not be 100%, it'll be like 99 or 98%, they could do that overnight. They could, because the, the emulator technology already makes a pretty functional experience. And they could make their own you know, server, and it won't be, you know, they don't have to use the emulator, okay? They could just put something together that would be a 98% perfect, and it would just work. Because again, a bunch of volunteers are able to do this on Nostilarius. There's still a lot of vanilla private servers out there. It just seems so disingenuous to read this as saying, oh, they can't, they want to do it, but it's this whole process. And again, they're not outright lying because if they wanted to recreate it exactly as is, it probably is a process. But it's it's absurd. And I, I didn't prepare this. So I'm, I'm sorry if I'm rambling a little bit. Just my initial reaction to this news, which I read uh, earlier today. But just tell us that you don't want to do it, okay? Just the reading this frustrates me because I know some people will look at this and be like, hey, look, they're trying. You know, it seems an earnest attempt at it. But just tell us that you don't want to make a WoW, like a vanilla server, and like you want to move on. That's fine. Just say that if you want. But this is just frustrating. I mean, I hope they do eventually make one. But this is not a... I know, I mean, Matt was arguing that this was the reason they couldn't do it. And I'm sure we'll have many other opinions in the podcast. This is what, just, this is what I happen to think. I mean, they could... It seems like they could do this if they wanted to. They clearly don't want to. That's that's my thoughts on this. But I mean, obviously, it's their imperative. It's their game, their license. They can do whatever the hell they want with it. It's just they, what they what they told. The excuse that I'm reading is just frustrating. That's what it seems like to me. Just my two cents. Pre, I'm curious what everybody else thinks on this. But if a bunch of punks can make this with uh, a bunch of volunteers can make this with cobble it together in a short period of time on Nostilarius. A bunch of expert developers over at 
the, the one of the biggest game companies in the world worth over like 10 15 billion they can't do it just seems nonsensical to me anyway guys just my thoughts curious what you guys think let me know